actually daily monitor um, our weather. Anything below four degrees Celsius, and we're having daily meetings, and we're, we're interacting with an Environment Canada uh, to ensure that we're forecasting correctly. Uh, when we feel the need uh, to, uh, to react to the weather changes that are going to happen that can cause us a power problem, we actually plan to anti-ice the wires. Right? And what we, we use a piece of equipment that you see here um, to do that. And what we do is we actually coat the wire um, with, uh, with, with a, a glycerin. And the glycerin actually prevents the ice from forming on the wire so the bus can actually pass through and get power through the, through the copper. So you have a consultant to, to us, a meteorologist, who uh, in addition to all the weather forecasts that we all read, he does this particular uh, analysis for us because in the lower mainland we have a lot of microclimates, as you all know. Uh, and he gives us predictions all around the SkyTrain system what where the problems are like to happen. For instance, on Sunday night, he said it's going to happen, and we sent out these anti-icing trains on Sunday night to coat the rails in the areas where expected problems. We sent them out again in the morning on Monday and again in the afternoon on Monday. And on Monday, we ran a, a, an almost flawless full rush hour service in the middle of a snowstorm. We did have a 20 minute delay, but that was not related to the weather. That was a train timing out because of a computer problem, which could happen on a summer's day. So. It, from our point of view, it actually went very, very well. We have 300 kilometers of trolley overhead wire that need to be coated nightly when, when we need it. Uh, so with three trucks, it's 100 kilometers each. It takes us about six hours to do that work every night. Right, so it's quite an endeavor. Um, even if we lose a truck, we can still maintain uh, getting the coverage done in a nightly basis.